Hey, good morning, y'all. Um, as promised, we're going to learn how to, I hope we're going to learn how we could learn how not to, but I got this new tool the other day. have no idea what these are for. I even looked it up and couldn't find anything, but we're going to try them out. This side has a different look to it, and apparently all I've been able to figure out so far is you pull a little and you rock a little, and, and we're going to try it all. I am going to one more thing, if you were watching yesterday, I, let me hear, I put uh, one more coat just on the bad spot on that table of the Dixie Belle Boss, not all over the whole thing. And these frames are all ready to be touched up with like the, uh, all the little hints of gold or something here and there, but I forgot to bring that with me today. So we're gonna be working on another project anyway. And let me see if I can tilt the camera down. This is uh, this is an old cabinet door that somebody gave me. There's what the back of it looks like. And I have just been blow drying. Let me make sure I got it all. I just put a coat of Dixie Belle drop cloth on there. And we're gonna put this caviar because I have it out, which is their kind of a black color on it to get our uh, our technique with so that we can see it better with the white over the black. I'm going to give, go ahead and take this hardware off while I'm giving that another minute or two to, uh, to dry. 11.30 got here quicker than I intended on it to. Good morning, Laura. I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping that, that we finish this video all knowing how to use this tool and not laughing because I'm a fool with the tool. I'm going to learn it somehow or another. And I just figured everybody does everything for the first time sometimes, so I may as well share it instead of sharing, you know, the perfected version of it whenever I get it done. Ooh, that's not wanting to come out. Um, oh, man, I'm going to strip it. Um, instead of, you know, showing you how to do that, you may as well wait and see the things that may happen and the things that could go wrong and stuff like that, too. I learn more from, uh, hey, Cece, I learn more from seeing when things may go wrong and different techniques than I do just a video of perfection. So, also, I'm going to try something else. I haven't tried this either. Move this light back a little so I have some room to work. Um, I didn't bring my brushes to here with me. They're at my home studio. So this is the chip brush that I put the first coat on with. And it's just like I buy these in a box of 36 for, I don't know, $7 or something like that at Harbor Freight. And it has a design on it because I, I had glued things on some for a, a, a make and take it one time. But anyway, if you look real close at the... It only has one coat. I could have put another coat and got rid of that problem, but it left the texture of where the bristles were on there. And I have this as a Dixie Belle Premium Chip Brush. And if you look at them side by side, there is a good bit of difference. And I wanted this black coat, the caviar coat, to go on real good, but I didn't want to spend $30 on another new brush because I have so many brushes at home. So I'm like, you know what? I haven't tried out that uh, premium chip brush and I, this is my first time to even hold them side by side. That's a heck of a lot of difference. That's a good brush for a chip brush. And, uh, but this one's $5.99, so, but it's not $30, so that's a plus two. I'm gonna dampen it just a little bit with my Mr. Bottle. It doesn't take as much um, moisture as, you know, some of the other mineral based paints. I'm only going to do like one, the, I picked this one out so I would have plenty of space to work with and four of these panels. So I'm only going to do one at a time and then we'll try different techniques with the little tool because I don't want to put it everywhere and then goof something up and have that paint dry and have to put another coat and all that. I don't think your coat needs to be you know, too, too thick or anything. I am getting some bristles in here, which happens with a new brush. It happened with my old brush a minute ago with my chip brush too. I didn't get that one out. Kind of excited about this, but I really thought it was 
important to do this on a sample board or on you know this old cabinet door before I tried it on my piece of furniture at least get a little bit of practice on it okay so there's the first one and here it is y'all wish me luck let me see if I can it's in an awkward position for me too but I want y'all to be able to see it real good too is that better Let's see if I can pull this closer I think that's better okay I have it now with just this tiny little stripe part at the bottom can you see that and it's not going to cover this whole thing so I'm just going to go with the edge and and I'm going to start with sort of this edge and just pull a little now I'm going to rock a little stay that a little bit down my paint may have been too thick It's kind of pretty, but uh, the transition from rocking to going straight, it doesn't look like I'm doing real great at that. Let me see if I can tilt this anymore at all. My paint may be too thick, too. I'm going to rub, rub some of it off on this rag before I do the next little piece. I'm going to overwhelm. No, I'm not. I'm going to go beside that and just try it in the same way. Pull. Maybe I'm pushing too hard. I can tell it's gonna be pretty once I get it figured out, but it ain't figured out yet. Let's do the next one. I probably could just do more paint over that first one and, and continue on it, but I wanna compare to see if I improve any. Hey, Regina. This paint is real thick. Maybe if I missed this a tad. To thin it out a little. Oh yeah, that smooths a whole lot better. And it could be that that underneath layer is, you know, still causing a little bit of drag because I did just paint that as well. Okay, let's try again. I'm gonna do it the same way. But, um, longer and try to be more smooth with my transition nope that didn't do anything so this I'm trying to do a lighter hand that's a dud back to my heavier hand try to get it this very edge has anybody else ever done this before Well, I like how that turned out with a little bit more rocking, but that where I was just dragging right there, let me lean y'all forward a little bit. That was just dragging the hand. That's not so good. But this, as it's drying, that really does look like wood grain. My husband's a carpenter. We're wood lovers. He has a sawmill. We actually, you know, cut down our own trees and make them into, you know, cut them into our own boards and then plane them and do all that. So I get a lot of looking at wood grain okay i'm going to flip this around the way this works it has another hole there and let's try it from that other side and see if that makes any difference and i think this shows us sort of all the importance of a sample board because i'd have probably been half crying by now if this was the top of my piece and I was wanting it to look finished and that even you know as simple as something is drag pull rock and all the things they tell us to do with this it's not as simple as it sounds when you're actually putting it into play
Have any of y'all ever used one of these tools that can give me a tip or two? I'm not a quitter. We're going to keep trying. Okay, this is with it at the other end now. Medium pressure. Pull, rock down, rock up, pull longer, rock. Oh, I see something. I see something forming. I love how this does because you normally have uh, a little bit of a change in that. Let me see if I can pick it up a little bit. But see where I'm, when I'm rocking, I'm staying too long. I'm staying too long down there and it are pushing rocking too much and that's causing it to go back and put some of the upper um, texture on there which does not look natural you can see how thick the paint is right there too so that's another lesson okay we're gonna Pull, slightly rock, pull, slightly rock, pull, slightly rock, pull, 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 pull slightly rock. Too hard to tell. I like the first one better, so I'm going to flip it back around for this last one. And there's so much thick paint on this one, that'll be the one we go back over. At least first. But you do, you can see as well, I've got this watered down a good bit, but using, uh, using a better brush definitely is giving me a better coverage, so. That test is true. This is heavier feeling, but not so heavy that it's weighing me down. Some of the other more expensive brushes that I have are so heavy in the, where the bristles are. Hey, Amy, so heavy where the bristles are and so small where the handle is that it just doesn't weight properly, which makes me have to hold on to it tighter, which hurts through the wrist and gives me, you know, kind of a wrist fatigue. So I'm actually liking this. I hope I don't forget this and ruin it. I don't do that very often. I can always, I don't know if you can see it right there, but I always have a huge bucket of water that I can just throw all my brushes in as I go. So at least nothing dries out. Okay. Just... Oh, I was fixing to ask you if you had ever used one, Amy. Amy is a furniture painter, and she can whip some stuff out. I'll be having these pieces on my table thinking, what am I going to do to them? And look on her page, and she'll have finished 14 pieces already this week. <laughs> Very prolific painter. She's with uh, Amy's Attic in Manny. We did a field trip there, if you want to look back on the on the page for that so i'm learning amy all i know so far is that i'm supposed to pull some rock some pull some rock some and don't do don't pull the same amount of time and rock at the same place because you don't want the repeating pattern to look artificial and man-made because in a real piece of wood it wouldn't be so i'm going to start out straight medium handed rock I think I'm not quite heavy-handed enough. It's like I'm heavy-handed on the left side, but not on the right side. Can you see how it's pulling up a good bit of paint there through the center? And it's not higher in the center. That's going to be from the amount of pressure that I'm putting on. Try it here. Well, let's do this little one for get one more practice. I'm going very heavy handed right now. Oh man, and that's pretty. Can y'all see that? That heavy handed was the answer. I was being too light before because I was worried about being too heavy. 
that's the best one so far. Let's see. Start out heavy, pull, rock just a little bit, back down, pull, rock just a little bit. I um, went too far with it. Back down, pull, rock, pull. So there's where I was talking about here. I went too, I went far enough back in that rotation, then 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 left some of the residue from the other paint right there which could be a wood characteristic i wouldn't you know shoot myself over that or nothing but um okay pull i'm pushing very hard right now twist pull twist but not all the way back pull twist i went too far back on that one but i didn't on this one i think i'm getting the hang of it let me uh repaint this one or probably both of those last two i'm getting excited now <laughs> thank you amy i i am learning patience in my old age i think uh hey you still have children at home you still you have to have good patience <laughs> your patience or either all yours gets used up on the children <laughs> i don't have anything to use my patience on but my husband and that does use a lot, but yeah, I think it, I think I'm going to be okay. I think I might a few more attempts and it might work out. See, compare this one to the very first one we did. This is a lot better. Now, normally I wouldn't be doing one because this has the, you know, the boards already there. I wouldn't already be doing that on ones that had that. I'm going to do it on a flat surface. So the wood grain will be as wide as my tool. And I wouldn't be trying to do two in one board. Let's see. Pull hard. Rock a little. Pull hard. Rock a little. Pull hard. Rock a little. Pull hard. It's still doing it there. But that may... I like it. That may, in the long run, resemble, I've seen where some people come in and then put an actual cut in the board right there, or you could come in with a paint brush, well, I could probably do it with this one, it's already dirty, and just go straight across right there and make it look like it was the end of that board and say your next board would end right here. Any place that's ugly, you can put an end to a board and then it will look like the boards are, you know, lined up. That's pretty cool too. That I think we're gonna survive this. Okay. I'm gonna go on to the last one because I don't wanna mess it up with part of this one. Okay, push down hard, pull. Rock a little, pull, rock a little, pull, rock a little, pull, while rock and pull. That ain't bad. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> I think I might get the hang of it. Let's go back over and see what happens when you do have a split board and you have to go back over. I'm going to rock early on that one. Pull, rock early, pull, rock at a different spot than last time, pull, rock, pull. I know I'm supposed to be pulling during that rock. Pull, rock while pulling, pull, rock while pulling, pull, rock while pulling. I didn't do it again, dang it. And I'm pushing so hard I went all the way down through to the blue paint. Yes, that Denise, that's what I'm supposed to be doing and I can't control myself. Let me uh, go back to the first one and see if I can do that because I'm wanting to keep pulling while I'm rocking and I keep, uh, my hand has a different thing going on than my mind. And there is, I'm feeling as I'm going back over this one, because this one was almost dry, there is a little bit of texture here. Um, oh, I got some on the frame. And I'm excited to know that because I have a, another project that I'm wanting to do this on, and I'm wanting the, uh, the wood grain 
like to lightly sand it and have that go into the other color. Okay. Oh, look, there's, what do you call that? I'm gonna stick it in the water for a second uh, from my dishcloth on there. Use a different one. Lint, that's the word I'm looking for. There's lint all up in there. That might be a problem here in a minute too. Okay, well, let's see if I can do it. Y'all, Denise knows what I'm trying to say, so she may have more experience. I think anybody has more experience now because I have, what, eight minutes experience? <laughs> yeah, it probably does take some. <laughs> yeah, my hand always does what it wants to. Okay. Put it down, firm, pull, rock, keep it down. It didn't do. I guess because the other paint had already dried, we're not able to see as much of the white through there. I'll do that one more time. Let me wet it a little bit. But that's what I'm gonna have to practice is just what Denise said, rocking and pulling at the same time. That's what, that's what, ouch, that <laughs> just hit my head on the light. That's what hasn't stuck in my brain, my, what do you call it, hand-eye coordination. Okay. Down and pull, but rock and pull. Down and pull and rock and pull and down and pull. Like that, Denise? Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'll try to do it a little. We're gonna start with the rock part and then pull and rock and pull and rock and pull. Oh, I did it again, rock but still pull. No, when I rock, my, at this, hey Melissa, Whenever I, I rock and pull, I'm sliding, so I'm not getting a good look. Shoot. Try it one more time. Maybe I'm doing it too long. I, I like how these look, though, and especially going through and putting the, making there be a, like the end of a board where there's an ugly part. <laughs> there's, there's always a bonus to knowing what to do when there's an ugly part. Once I get this perfected, I will, uh, you know, I'll do another video on it and show what I've learned once I have a little experience with it, but I figured it was just as important to learn what to do during the learning stages together. Okay, here we go again. Put it down. Push, and maybe I'm pushing too hard. Push, rock, down, rock, down, rock, pull. That's not too bad. I know it's harder to see because there's not as much white under it as there was under the other ones. But, um, you know, we're kind of always harder on ourselves and our stuff when we're learning and all that anyways. If I was to walk into a flea market or someplace and somebody had this done on the board, I wouldn't look at it and say, oh my gosh, that girl don't know what she's doing. You know, we all gotta learn. I'll be doing this every day if I ever learn it. It is kind of relaxing. And I would love to do something like, um, like a bright yellow underneath and a bright pink on top to where it sort of works with your mind. Oh my goodness, that looks like uh, wood grain, but it's totally not the colors of wood grain, of wood. Rock, straight, I pulled too long, rock. Dang, I didn't pull, rock, but pull. Yeah, I did it again. If Whenever I have it down for the rock, if I stretch it too far, while maybe I have to lighten up that pull. Let's try one more time. Because maybe that's uh, gonna be a trick to it too, is when you're in, doing the straight, be have more pressure, but when you're doing the rock, release some of that pressure. 
Now, whether my brain will allow that, I don't know, but I'm going to try it. This is going to be my last one. Y'all wish me luck. Or my last one before I, before I leave for lunch. How about that? I have a feeling I'm going to be doing this a lot because I'm going to want it to be right on those tables. I put, got lint on there again. Okay. Ready? Push down hard. Pull. Rock, but lighten up and pull. No, pull, rock while pulling, pull, rock while pulling, pull. That was pretty good, except for here's the area where I tried to go lightly. Oh, Amy, okay, thank you. You have a good day, too. Um, <clears throat> so here's the last one. Keeping the same thing. Pull, rock, pull, rock, pull, rock, but not all the way over. I'm good with it. I'm okay with it for my first time, y'all. Um, if anybody has done this before, hey there, if anybody has done this before um, and you have some tips for me, please share them and with all of us so that we'll all know and we'll come back on here again and I'm going to continue to practice and once I can do it better, I'm going to share that with y'all too. So thanks for joining me today and next time we do this, we'll be doing a really good job. Thanks. Bye. And if you do it, show me a picture of your board. Bye.